commercial up, you want him to be in the show. Initially, it's not for the character he plays. He comes mm. back to you and says, consider me for this. I know this character was written for a white person. Mm -hmm. Curious sort of what that conversation was and what the ultimate realization was that led you to say, screw it. Well, it, I mean, it, it, it was a short conversation. <laughs> and um, because I knew I would be really, really lucky to, to have an artist uh, of that caliber playing this role, I said, I love the idea. My only concern was sort of in the times we live in, this is a story about time and memory and love. And I wouldn't want those themes to be subsumed because suddenly we're telling a story that is messaging mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. race or something. And, and I don't think I'm the right person to be doing that anyway. And he basically said, no, I don't want to do that. And what Mahershala had told me was that what he liked about the role was that this was a fully formed man and human being. And often actors of color, th the role they're up for is defined by race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that he says, if I'm playing a detective, I'm playing the black <laughs> detective. Exactly. If I'm playing the this and, you know, and in, so at the same time though, I didn't want to ignore race and, and pretend that it didn't exist. It was just more in the fabric of the world. So, you know, again, it was a brief conversation and I just said, well, let me go rewrite the first three episodes and <laughs> let's see if this would work. And then, you know, I, I, I did that and realized, oh, it works just fine. And seeing how Mahershala played the character, I thought it was such a force multiplier to have an actor of color in that role. He's always on the periphery of things a little bit, a, mm -hmm. li a little bit looked over, mm -hmm. but that also gives him the opportunity to be a much closer observer. Mm -hmm. And the sort of existential isolation we always associate with the classic idea of the detective, you know, like along these mean streets, a man walks alone. <laughs> I thought that sort of concretized that in, in, in an experiential way for the character. I was just incredibly grateful that he wanted the role and, and, and I thought it, it helped me a lot to, to open up my work in ways I would have maybe just been shy, sort of wondering like, well, is that my story to tell? Right. And mm -hmm. then where I landed on that was, I am actually the only writer on earth qualified to write about Wayne Hayes, mm -hmm. <laughs> because he's a figment of my imagination. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs>